As the first battle of Geonosis commenced, Obi-Wan together with young Anakin followed and caught up with who they thought was behind all of this treachery. Count Dooku. After failing to listen to his master, Anakin was electrocuted by Dooku, a move that really showed how young and naive was Anakin still. Kenobi tried putting up a valiant fight, however his skills proved no match for the more powerful and experienced Dooku, and he was soon incapacitated. As Skywalker recovered, he witnessed Dooku raising his lightsaber to deliver the final blow against the fallen Kenobi. Skywalker, calling upon the Force, leaped into the path of Dooku's lightsaber, blocking it with his own, saving his master's life in the process. Taking up his fallen master's weapon, Skywalker unleashed a flurry of attacks which caught Dooku off guard at first. However, despite the tactical advantage the second blade granted to Anakin, it was short-lived to say the least. Without more than basic training in Jarkai, Skywalker's use of two blades simply wasn't good enough to pass through Dooku's guard, and the Sith eventually managed to destroy the green blade, leaving Skywalker with only his blue. At that point, Dooku's adaptness and greater experience allowed him to regain the upper hand, and despite holding his own for much of the duel, Skywalker lost the battle and his right arm to Dooku. After being rescued by Yoda, Anakin Skywalker Walker and Kenobi were transported back to the Jedi Temple for healing. However, what intrigued me and many fans is what exactly was the reason that the two prominent Jedi could not even make Dooku sweat? Well, for starters, their dysfunctional relationship. One would assume that Dooku would have a much more difficult task when faced with two cooperating Jedi side by side. In this case, he just picked them off one by one. But mostly, the reason why he indeed won was his experience in the Makashi fighting style of lightsaber combat. Makashi was the second of the seven classic forms of lightsaber combat, developed specifically for the purpose of addressing the failings of Form 1. Makashi was the most dual-centric of the seven classical forms. Relying on precision and efficiency over Shi Cho's wild, sweeping motions, Form 2 or Makashi allowed an initiate to defend themselves against an opponent with minimal effort so you can imagine what a master was capable of. It was described as elegant and focused and was based on balance and footwork to outmaneuver opponents. Through mastering this technique, Dooku not only bested them once, but held his own many times throughout the Clone Wars series and was at the cusp of defeating them again in Revenge of the Sith, if not for Anakin's anger and hatred. Do it. Alright Star Wars fans, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day my friends and in closing, don't forget, may the Force be with you always.